Thank you for inviting me to talk about the role of AI embedded speech recognition in electric health records. My name is Ellen Mareta Hagen. I'm a consultant neurologist and clinical director for digital health at Queen Square Division at UCLH. The reason for having this role is that I, coming from Europe, I have encountered four different electronic record systems before and I've used speech recognition software before. Hence, I was asked to join on the adoption of an decision of an speech recognition software within EPIC. UCLH went live with EPIC on the 31st of March 2019. And at GoLive, we rolled out EPIC's mobile applications and live voice recognition. Before EPIC, we used a combination of paper medical records, electronic document repository and results viewing system and dictated clinical outcome letters using a third party dictation transcription service. Radiologists, however, had been using voice recognition for several years and made it very bespoke to their needs. As part of the procurement, we set up a group which I was leading to have a business case with specifications. We had user engagement from physicians, allied health and nurses. We had demonstrations and especially we took into consideration how the change of uh, user software would affect the radiologists. And we had a thorough evaluation before choosing a vendor. We chose Nuance Dragon Medical One, a secure cloud-based speech platform integrated with EPIC using AI. It was launched for all users with previous digital transcription solutions in outpatient clinics and radiology. The technical delivery was computers in hospital, but also remote access. And the users could either use a wired USB microphone on the computers or the Dragon Power Mic Mobile, which is an app which you can download for both Androids and iPhones. As shown here, the use of Dragon per day during Go Live increased rapidly, both in number of people using it and minutes dictated per day. It was very popular with the medical staff. It was used for outpatient no notes and letters in EPIC. And by day 11 post go live, 705 users were actively using voice recognition. The number of active users increased to a maximum of 932 users in March 2020, just before lockdown. And the minimum user were noted in May 2020 with 644. Here you can see the minutes dictated per month. Uh, nearly 64,000 minutes were used in dictation in January 2020. And the lowest number was 37,000 in April 2020. The PowerMic mobile adoption in May this year showed that 51% of all users used the mobile, 33% of all dictation at UCLH were done using mobile, and 55% of all dictation in neurology were completed with the mobile. And you can see here the top 10 specialities using the PowerMic mobile is neurology, obstetrics and gynecology and radiology specifically. So what are the lessons learned? Reflecting on the uh, implementation, I do wish we had gone live with voice recognition prior to EPIC. We know that Nuance has a lot of uh, functionalities which we didn't adopt or uh, optimize sufficiently. And I think that would have eased the implementation of EPIC as well. Also, we needed, we would have benefited from having some more training using voice recognition, especially for those with very strong accents. Another thought was that we did not plan for future upgrades. With EPIC, there are regular upgrades, which takes a lot of work for the team. 
and it's easy to postpone an upgrade of nuance. Overall, we are very pleased with using Dragon Medical One and especially having the mobile use, uh, which more and more people are finding useful. For me, the lesson has been to, to get all people involved in the project to avoid uh, people being upset when we change systems. But overall, it's been a very positive experience. So thank you for your attention.